Hi, I'm here at the Adobe booth at uh, NAB 2019, and I'm here to show you a couple of really cool tricks with the new Content Aware Fill in After Effects. We're going to use it to remove a crew car from a shot that would otherwise be unusable, and to obscure a logo on a bicycle, which enables us to use the shot in a place that we otherwise wouldn't be able to. shot of a cyclist and this is a great shot except the crew was also in the shot and if we look closely we can see here that they are filming the cyclist we've got even this guy's looking at camera we have to get rid of this car it's distracting so what we're gonna do is simply draw a mask around it and this has already been done for us and this is a really rough mask uh, it's nothing fancy it's just quickly roughly keyframed to cover that car and then from here I'm going to open the content aware fill panel and I'm going to set this mask to subtract and you'll see here in the panel that it's cutting that out. Here it's transparent and this is the transparent area that Content Aware Fill is going to fill in. And I'm going to use object fill method because I'm removing an object from my scene. I'm going to choose object and I'm going to click generate fill layer and After Effects is going to analyze every frame of this clip and decide from there, from looking at the motion of the image, what pixels belong in that hole. And we're going to fill in that hole. Uh, and you can actually use any method of cutting out this shape. Uh, you can use masking, keying, mats. Uh, you don't have to just use a mask. Uh, but this nice, quick mask is a good way to get started. And you'll see here right now, it's already filled in a couple of different frames. And I can go through here really quick and preview different frames as it's rendering. Now it's analyzing my entire composition and it's pretty quickly rendering out a new image sequence. This is creating new media which I can then use as part of my composite. And so right here we're just about done and I'm going to hit play and that car is pretty much just seamlessly removed from this shot. This shot now, that cyclist, it's as if the car was never there. We can use this in our movie. For the second example, uh, we have a really lovely shot of a motorcycle, but we've been told by standards that we can't have that logo on the side, so we need to remove it. And this is actually going to use a different tool in Content Aware Fill, and that is Edge Blend Mode, because this, mic this motorcycle is a smooth surface. So again, I've created a mask. Again, it's just a rough mask. You don't need to do precision rotoscoping here. It's just a rough mask of that decal on the side of the bike. And I'm going to switch to Edge Blend Mode, and I'm going to click Generate Fill Layer. And now, just like with the other one, it's going to analyze the clip and figure out how best to fill that in. The difference here is that Edge Blend Mode just grabs the pixels around the side of the thing that you're removing and blends in toward the middle. So it takes the edges and blends them, hence Edge Blend. And this is a nice fast mode. It's actually much quicker to render. And just like that, we've removed that logo from the bike. We could even replace it with our own logo for our show. All right. Uh, so one of the important things to know with Content Aware Fill is that it's generating new media, and these files can get pretty big, especially if you're rendering in 32-bit. In the Content Aware Fill panel, there is a settings menu, and this allows you to choose your bit depth for your output, where you're saving it to, and there's this really important checkbox here, auto-managed unused fill footage. And so if I create something, I'm not happy with it, and I delete it from my timeline, it's actually going to prompt me to delete it from my hard drive as well. Uh, it's one way to help keep track of what Content Aware Fill is doing, but you need to manage these files just like any other media in your projects.